Desmond Tutu is important in the very basic sense. He learned us the issue of advocacy. In 1979, South Africa was ruled by the laws of apartheid. This system of racial segregation favored the white minority and repressed the black majority of the population. Desmond Tutu had just been elected the General Secretary of the South African Council of Churches and was an outspoken and strong opponent to apartheid. He came to visit Dan Church States in 79 to discuss our cooperation, the funding that we provided from Dan Church State. But he made a very important statement. It became a turning point. He said, thank you for the support to the many victims of the apartheid. But it is disgraceful that Denmark is supporting the system by buying coal from South Africa. And we had to take it back in Danchard saying, if our partners think we have to also support that kind of statement, we have to do so. We have also to assist on an agenda where we try to isolate the South African system. It was a very radical statement, radical for us in Danchard said, as well as for Desmond Tutu in, in South Africa. When he made that statement, he made it in a board meeting with Dan Church said. But then he later the same day made it in the news. So it went all over the whole world because it was the first time he made that statement. And that statement was picked up in South Africa as well. So when Desmond Tutu returned back home in South Africa, they took away his passport so he couldn't travel any longer. So it mobilized uh, people at home to try to influence the parliament to start the sanctions. But the most important impact for us in Danchurch said we had to start thinking how do we follow up on that. Yes, influencing, informing, documenting and so on, but it was also to increase our capacity. But that was where the starting point of the concept of advocacy actually started. A lot of people did not see that as the mandate of Dan Church Aid. We were there basically to assist in emergencies and delivering more long-term development aid. So it's very controversial for many people. But the majority of the people, because we follow up with information and campaigns and specifically with the young people, they understood and they actually came to Dan Church Aid because of that clear uh, commitment. So now everyone is talking about advocacy, uh, but that was not the case in 79. Advocacy is not any longer a matter of the apartheid regime. Advocacy is a core business wherever we are working.